It's your good sis, Erica Vane, back again with another sisters video. And as you can tell by the title, in this video, we are talking about Fatima and Zach, honey, and why Fatima is pushing Zach away. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So in episode six, we got to see Fatima start to act a little funky, a little janky, a little moody towards Zach. After they had the night of their lives with pure ecstasy and joy, she woke up with an attitude, honey, and she was not having it. And that inspired me to make this video. I really want to talk about why Fatima might be pushing Zach away. When she is, you know, talking to him and kicking this smoke and this attitude towards him, she's letting him know that he cannot have her heart. He cannot gain access to her heart. He just got to back up because honestly she's falling she's continuously falling the more time that she spends with Zach the more she talks with Zach the more she interacts with Zach she's just falling 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 in love with Zach and it's understandable because they both make each other happy they both see the best in each other right now they're definitely in the newlywed phase of their talking stage and I think that that is bookmarked by this actual exchange because this is the first time that Zach actually gets to see Fatima with an attitude attitude that's not necessarily like playful and just real but it, it's coming from a place of almost like insecurity and like frustration and he's definitely getting Karen vibes from it and he says that and honestly y'all I've talked about this in my episode four breakdown I talked about this in my episode five breakdown as well as another breakout video that I did for Zach and Fatima because that was my number one thing like my number one thing when it comes to Zach and Fatima why they they have really great chemistry they look good together and they're having fun together because Zach is in love with Karen still it makes the situation not only messy but complicated because if Fatima is falling in love with you but you still in love with her you cannot give Fatima what she's trying to give you no way no no how you would not love two people at the same level at the same depth at the same time and it winds up setting Fatima up for failure and I think she's really really starting to realize it like she's already was hesitant to begin with after she found out about Karen and the whole situation and it was messy but at that point she was already in and then Zach continues to pursue her and I don't think that in this episode when he's trying to sneak out in the morning that adds anything like I don't think that that actually helps the situation because that looks shady AF it looks like sir you just wanted to hit and go on here about your business so I was wondering like sir why are you tiptoeing in and out through here after you done begged this girl can you come over after you didn't went up to her job and did all this extra stuff like I absolutely cannot with you Zach but I do think that Fatima overreacted in this scene and I think that she overreacted because her feelings are getting deeper and deeper and she knows that she's headed towards getting hurt now another thing that I mentioned in previous videos is that I didn't know how Zach was going to respond once Fatima once like the new car smell wore off right like this is something that's very new it's exciting she makes him feel good she talks nice to him and just tells him he could do anything and everything but what happens when he's messing up what happens when he's being ridiculous what happens when he's being trifling and she tells him that he is one of the things that I felt like Zach has yet to learn is how to actually receive criticism yes karen did not deliver things correctly all the time but she also told you the dang on truth and y'all spent three years in a relationship where she basically carried you and yes she was disrespectful in some ways and she said some things that she shouldn't have said in the way that she said it but at the end of the day you still was raggedy you know you was raggedy so when are you going to be accountable to that and I don't think that Fatima is any different in that if he starts being raggedy i.e she just helped him make all this dang old money and he didn't put it on black and lost it like he didn't do that y'all he took the stock tip from that white lady at the airport which it seemed like it was a good idea I ain't even gonna hold you but now that he didn't did it and lost all his money it's just like uh what you finna do but this is a great example of like now is he going to have to explain this to her that he just basically gambled away the money that's going to look kind of shady and shifty if she says anything negative about it is he going to be able to handle it is he going to pout is he going to oh you're just like Karen and then walk away like 
I think that Zach needs to mature in a way that he can actually discern what the message is and not just how the message is delivered. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that people should be disrespected, but sometimes the message is not always going to be wrapped in a pretty little bow, but you still need to hear it. Not all of your medicine is going to be in candy. Sometimes you just need to take the medicine. And honestly, I believe that what we saw in episode six is a preview of that with Fatima and Zach because she was being honest and straight up with him, even though I feel like she was overreacting a little bit. She was being honest and like, I'm not going to do this with you. You're not going to break my heart. You're not basically boop, boop, boop. And he's just like, wow, like this feels very Karen like. And I'm like, yeah, because guess what? Karen might have been the personification of the problem because she was the one speaking in this way. But when you do certain actions at the core of it, if you're wrong, somebody gonna tell you that you're wrong and you gotta be able to hear that you're wrong. But y'all, I didn't gone off on a tangent now. That is why I think Fatima is pushing Zach away. Now, do I think that she will continue to do so? No, I think she's gonna do some ebbs and flows. Like she's gonna push him away, pull him in, push him away, pull him in. Y'all know how we do. It goes like that sometimes. And I ain't even mad at this. I do want her to protect herself though, because she's a really dope girl. She's a real one and I don't want her to get hurt and it seems like that's the road that she is on let me know what you think though in the comment section down below why do you think Fatima is pushing Zach away do you think Fatima is pushing Zach away let me know in your questions predictions or theories down in the comment section if you are new here welcome i'm erica vane and i break down sisters every single week when we have a new episode as well as i jump into character breakdowns and i talk about specific plot points such as this if you love sisters and you love talking about it you need to go ahead and join the tribe and hit subscribe i promise you are going to love it here if you are not new thank you thank you thank you for returning and subscribing and watching the video i love you so very much and i would love to talk with you more in the comment section down below if you miss any of my my sister's videos i have my sister's playlist link for you right here so you can go back and binge watch them and if you're looking for something new to watch i have my run the world videos listed right here as well as the shy videos right here and i think that those are two great series that you will love as well get into it and i'll see you in my next video bye